Hello and welcome. Uh, here we have a 2005 Volkswagen Jetta TDI. And the problem is, you hit the doors, the door locks on the key, the door lock on the, the switch, and only that door over there would do anything. Uh, the rest, this one would lock, but sometimes unlock, and the front two doors wouldn't do crap. So, we figured it out. It wasn't too terrible. Uh, the signal comes through the through to the motor, the window motor, which is like a window unit motor or a module. Sorry, not motor, module, and uh, then outputs from here through the wiring, which would be thusly over here, out through here into the door lock connection, which goes to the door lock, which this is the that's the old door lock right here. So we tested it all the way out to the we tested at the motor module, the window module there, for a signal going to the lock motor. We got a signal and the, the, the motor wasn't actually moving. So we're like, well, we have to get to the lock module at this point and uh, got it out, took the new one, popped it in because we already had it here and uh, everything works fine. So thusly, uh, other considerations are in a common failure in the Mark IVs is door jam wiring. We already checked that. That's why the boots are off. Uh, so, look into that if you're doing something like this. Other than that, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Sorry, there's a bug looking at me. Anything else that I have missed? I can't think of anything. Yeah, we did the time. We did a timing belt on this first. We got all that done, and now we're moving on to the door lock issues. So, this is a. Uh, it's got like eighty thousand miles on. It's in good shape. I like it. Timing belt wasn't too bad. The motor mount sucked. So, you got to get that panel off. If you want to get to this, panels off, and then you can get to this. And uh, there's a little set screw here that you have to unscrew to get this handle out. To get this lock out, because this lock interfaces with the door lock as such it would say be in your car and fit on there like that and so when you turn it when you turn the lock it would turn the lock and so on and so forth it would mechanically work it so you gotta disconnect that and then you gotta transfer over all these all this other crap to the new one and uh then you're good so thanks for uh watching and i'll upload hopefully another one tomorrow just hopefully we have something that's worth diagnosing we do have that camaro on the docket so this, I may just film some of this, uh, tearing this apart and putting it back together. This is the 2017, I think? 2016, 2017, been in a wreck. I mean, it totally smashed up stuff here. You can see all this crashed up, smashed up, bashed up junk. Cause we get a lot of, we get a lot of work from the body shop where they'll send us work and uh, we'll do the mechanical work like that. And then we'll send it back and they'll do all the body work. End of the day. And uh, we are packing up to leave. We have totally, fix that door lock and it's working fine now if you want to see it in action Ta -da! so now we just got to do the same to the other wait Anyway, I'm gonna deal with that tomorrow. Uh, this, my, my brain can't take much more right now. But what I wanted to let you know was that uh, this, this is a 2014 Volkswagen Passat and uh, it has come from the body shop. It has, was hit in this left front, smashed up this, they had to rewire it, doesn't run for crap, turned the started the car, I got the battery charging now because every time the body shop brings us a car, the battery's dead as hell. So right now it's it's just gonna charge overnight. It's a little trickle charger kind of thing. Anyway, um, started up the car. It does run. Every light on the dash is on, and the a uh, the airbag light, the SRS light, it like flash. It do like that. Um, when I do it, I'll record it some tomorrow. But I wanted to go ahead and give you guys kind of like a small preview. Apparently the body shop somebody has already put a transmission computer in it. So. But they can't get any connection. They can't get any uh, communications through the DLC. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait to try it, figure it out. And uh, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. 
at some point. And then of course, like I said before, we still have the Camaro that's going to need a lot of help. And we'll start working on that tomorrow. This is the entire rear end because we do have to replace this entire subframe because it is ripped off. It is bent and ripped here. So I'll give you more in depth tomorrow on that. I may or may not put that part in the video, but if I do, congratulations. If I don't, whoops. Anyway, so uh, we just got to push in tonight and we are going to go dive into this tomorrow. But again, thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to tune in tomorrow live if you want to see us do it live where we get all of the details in there versus here where you get the summary. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you've been enjoying these two, three videos that I've done thus far. Have a good rest of your day.